Hello, polarizing people. Thanks once again for tuning into our channel. Now, this video is more of an overview than a full blown tutorial, and it covers how we updated the animated logo used in polarizer videos. But in any case, we hope you find this latest contribution to our video series about creating and growing this YouTube channel to be both informative and helpful. Like any business or other entity in the public eye designed to turn a profit, a monetized YouTube channel by default is a brand. Now, most YouTube channels, unlike most corporate brands, they're able to develop an identity and a following with viewers and subscribers through more of a function of the unique personality behind the channel, or a unique angle into the audience's hearts, minds, and collective attention spans. As opposed to going the more conventional route with a soup to nuts professional corporate identity design associated with large companies based in brick and mortar. And that's a good thing. But even then, a simple but well conceived brand identity that certainly doesn't hurt a YouTube channel. So, for the polarizer, we felt it was time to marry our main logo, and that's a simple serif font logo type that says polarizer, with our YouTube channel icon, which is a red and orange oval. Now, some of you might be wondering what these two graphic elements have to do with each other in the first place. And there actually is some deeper metaphorical link intended between the logo type and the channel icon, and we promise that this will be clearly revealed in a future video. But for now, to update both the static and animated versions of this logo type, we decided to visually incorporate the channel icon, which is actually a red and orange stylized version of the O in Polarizer, into the logo type itself, replacing the plain standard O. Now our initial animated version of the logo is simply a text layer in Adobe After Effects that's placed over a solid that has an image file applied to it to create a patterned background. And spotlight effects applied to the text and background create shadows and a vignette look to the composition. The black and white composition has a vintage look which we're going for, and that's enhanced by adding an analog video glitch effect to the end of the animation. Okay, a big hat tip to Josh, Mini Movie Maniac, for his YouTube video tutorial regarding how to add the glitch effect in After Effects. I followed his instructions and it worked out really great. I've provided a link to Josh's tutorial in this video's description. All in all, I'm happy with this evolution of the Polarizer logo, but there is one technical issue I want to highlight that occurred in the process of animating and aligning the glitched O with the rest of the glitched letters in the logo type. So what I did was I glitched the O separately and then layered it over the original logo type glitch sequence. Given the different sizes and shapes of the layer's contents, as you can see the O did not glitch completely in sync with the original logo type. So since I'm a relative newbie when it comes to using After Effects and my skill is still being developed, yeah, I fixed this problem with the syncing of the animation and the glitching by painting each frame in the animation to get the O glitches to better align with the glitches of the logo type. Now, this approach was pretty tedious, but one good thing is it allowed me some freedom to add extra color throughout each frame to draw more attention to the glitched O. Then it was off to the After Effects rendering queue, and a few minutes later, a new video file of the animated logo is ready. I then put together a short musical stinger using FL Studio for the animated logo's audio track, and the main music element of this track is a drum roll that's meant to sync with the letters in the logo type as they appear. When the track was finished, I imported the audio and video files into Adobe Premiere, synced them in the timeline, and there you have it. And we're not experts at all when it comes to things like non-linear video editing or motion graphics or digital audio, digital music. Again, the internet has your back when it comes to learning these skills. Okay folks, so I'm about to reveal how this completed new version of the Polarizer animated logo turned out. And we hope you like it. And let us know what you think or how you would have approached this project, especially if you're someone who's awesome with After Effects. Okay, there you have it. And as always, thank you so much for being part of our audience. It's wonderful having you. And look for our new animated logo to be used as a bumper to kick off a whole new set of poll videos, which we think you'll find really enjoyable over the coming months and years here at The Polarizer.